Hello and welcome to uh, tutorial 3 um, of the HTML lessons. OK, so let's have a quick um, look over what we did in the last lesson. We talked about the bold tag, the italic tag, the uh, underline tag, and then we put them all together um, using them all together as a, a bold, italic and underline text. And we talked about the paragraph tag. So let's now um, talk about, let's basically make a, a little bit of text and give it a little bit of format. Uh, OK, so first thing we need to do is just open up uh, this in PSPad. And what we're going to do is going to get rid of one of these. Actually, we'll get rid of the whole lot. OK, let's make this text slightly bigger. OK, the ne next thing we're going to talk about is the heading tag. And the heading tag is split down into five elements, I believe. Um, not that you need all of them. Um, is the H1 to H5, I believe. I don't, I don't remember whether there's an H6. Um, but anyway, you'll never use it. Um, OK, so we open the H1 um, heading tag. And we close the H1 heading tag. And it's easier if I just show you what a heading is first. So this is a heading. So we control S to save it. And obviously this is within the body as well. Go back to our page, refresh it. And as you can see, this is a heading. OK. And if we copy this, so we'll just actually paste this as an H1 heading. And highlight this all and copy it and paste it to the next line. And we'll change this to two, 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 and we'll go three, three, three. And we'll just go four for fun. Okay, we'll save this control S, go back to the web page and have a look. There we go. So the H1 is really big, H2 is more of a subheading, H3 I really don't know when you'd use it and H4 I, I couldn't understand why you'd use it. Um, so really H1 and H2 are, are the headings that are, are worthy of using. Okay so let's go back let's get rid of these um, two here and as you can see let's control save. Um, the, the, the heading tags have um, padding around it. We'll move on to padding shortly but basically means that it goes um, automatically to a new line so they already break to go to a new line um, okay and they add um, space above and below left and right which is called padding um, and the margin is from the top uh, I'm going to go on to margin layer okay so let's basically get rid of uh, this H2 tag and we'll make um, a paragraph here and let's just uh, let's pause the video and get some text okay I'm back again so I just went to Wikipedia and got a little bit of text and uh, that's just all gone across here so let's just bring some of this down Obviously me pressing enter doesn't make any difference because we have to tell it to go to a new line, so it's never a worry. Anyway, let me pause again. Okay, so we've got some text here. Um, the, what the text is about is irrelevant. So we've got a paragraph anyway. So let's just tidy this up a little bit. Control save. Uh, let's shut this Wikipedia down and then let's have a look. Okay, so as you can see we've got the heading and then um, it puts the text there okay that's the, basically it and now if we want all the text to be italic so we open the italic tag up and we close the italic tag up we save it and there we go it all goes italic and if we just want the North uh, America to be in bold whoops be a uh, anchor tag. So we've just got North America to be in bold. And what if we want Plymouth to be underlined? There we go. And as you can see, Plymouth is underlined. Okay. Now another um, part.
part of um, of good uh, good uh, HTML tags that are there um, is the HR tag, which is basically does a horizontal rule, or in other words, a line. It doesn't underline stuff, but it makes a line. So if I show you, there we go. It puts a line. Now this is another tag that doesn't need closing. It's just um, one of the tags. Now we also have uh, field sets. Okay. If I show you what the field set does, we open the field set up um, below the heading and we're going to close it close it down here. So let's just go out a little bit. So you've got the heading tag here, start of the field set, paragraph, and then the closing the field set here. So we we'll save it, go there and have a look. See now basically what the, the field set does, yeah, it puts this box nice box around it uh, which can look quite smart actually uh, sometimes um, I don't really tend to use it but I got rid of the the um, horizontal rule as well because it, it's just not needed um, uh, okay now within a field set you also have um, a legends which we open the legend tag and we close the legend tag and we say uh, this is the subheading, and we save this, and we can see what the field set does, or well, the uh, legend does, sorry, and it puts a subheading uh, around the field set. That's pretty cool. This is very, very basic stuff, um, but okay, I think uh, for the time being, uh, that's enough. Um, yeah, if you watch the tutorial again, um, you, you'll see, but I've only really bought in the field sets and the H1 tags. Have a play around with them. The legend must go with inside uh, the field set, okay? And you put the text with inside the, le the open and closing legend here. That's okay, that's about it. All right, well, um, thank you for watching. I'm David Thorne, and check out www.thornwebdesign.de. Okay, bye bye.